the National Bureau of Statistics, in collaboration with the United Nations Children Emergency Fund, UNICEF, have launched the 2021 Multiple Indicator Cluster Survey and National Immunization Coverage Survey Report, providing reliable nationwide and internationally comparable data to monitor the situation of children and women in Nigeria. The National Bureau of Statistics implemented the Multiple Indicator Survey, which provides data on child mortality, health, nutrition, education, child protection and hygiene, which assesses vaccination coverage in all health systems in Nigeria. During the launch, His Excellency Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Yoshibanjo, who was represented by the Honorable Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Dr. Zainab Ahmed, said the essence of the launch was to help guard the federal and state governments in improving immunization, ensuring the well-being of children in Nigeria, identifying disparities in the provision of healthcare facilities to develop the Nigerian Economic Plan, and record some progress in the achievement of SDG by 2030. <coughs> As we launch this report today, the quest to achieve our development goals and objectives is still the priority of government. The available data in the multiple indicator cluster survey and the National Immunization Coverage Survey report will enable government, private sector and all relevant stakeholders to hit the ground running, particularly towards improving access to immunization for all our children as and when to, and also for the expansion of the immunization coverage to ensure every child has a better future. Government will continue to ensure the provision of primary health care to all Nigerians to enable our country to achieve our development goals and meet up with the 2030 agenda. I wish to state that the multiple indicators uh, survey as well as the National Immunization Public Survey is a comprehensive household dis survey designed to provide up-to-date data for assessing the situation of women and children in Nigeria as well as tracking socio-economic activities as it affects the entire population. The report of the survey serves as a key source of data on child protection, early children education, and overall provides reliable data for evidence-based policies and programs. The Honorable Minister of State, Budget and National Planning, Priest Claim Abba, assuredly stated the commitment of the government in monitoring and implementing its support for reliable data collection for effective budgeting and decision making in the country. The government will continue to provide necessary support for the national statistical system to ensure the production of reliable data for tracking developmental progress. I wish to apprise you that Nigeria has been able to generate much needed data that captures a significant proportion of household-based indicators as it affects the welfare and development of women and children across the country through the multiple indicator clusters. The UN resident coordinator in Nigeria, Mr. Matthias Kamele, who was represented by the UNICEF representative in Nigeria, Peter Hawkins, restated the benefits of the launch as it will help assess global progress for the development of women and children to achieve impact in the economy of the country. The mix and mix data will help Nigeria to better assess the progress of its global and regional commitments which seek to promote the welfare of women and children. It will benefit the government of Nigeria through its National Development Plan, the African Union and its 2063 Agenda, the United Nations 2030 Agenda and its attendant uh, SDGs. It will help the governors to assess their own progress and use the data to inform decision making. The Statistician General of the Federation, National Bureau of Statistics, Prince Adeyemi Adeniran, said that the survey has recorded the highest response rate in the series, recording an impressive response of 99% and assessing critical data that concern the well-being of women, children and the general household in Nigeria. This round of the survey, which asked over 200 indicators, recorded the highest response rate in the history of links series in India. It recorded a 
impressive response of 99% rate. Also had some notable improvement that we are added, making it the most competitive mix of ever to be conducted in the year. These improvements were in the form of an addition of entirely new questionnaire to be solved, as well as the inclusion of new modules to the existing questionnaire that we have. It is my hope that the launch of these results today and the subsequent demonstration that will follow both at the zonal and state levels will lead to the review, design and implementation of policies and programs that positively impact on the life of Nigerians, more particularly on the life of women and children. Minister of Finance and uh, that the budget will remain all directors.